Big up everyone, the Portuguese is back with a motherfucking bang. If you're still watching, you're a motherfucking G. I just want to let you know that I'll be doing a food review today. I hope you guys are doing very well. Please like and subscribe. But look what I've got guys and girls. Everyone from the UK, Portugal, wherever you're coming from. I have got the brand new Domino's pizza. It's called the Korean barbecue. Just look at that. Price point, eight quid. And this is, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six slices. That is spot on for one person, eight pounds. It's basically got onions, it's got Korean chicken, um, also it's got cheese. Um, I think it's got like a tomato base, I'm not 100% sure. And they said I can add one more topping for free. So I ended up adding pepperoni. Have you guys had it? Is it any good? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, it's cooked it fresh, and you cannot forget these legendary dips, garlic and herb. You cannot beat it, bruv. It goes well with Domino's pizza. Let's tear it up. Will we get a little cheese bite, though? Let's see. Do you know what? You don't get a cheese bite, but it's amazing. Um, obviously, the burger in it is fluffing down a bit, but that's not a problem. They've obviously put a lot of toppings on it. It's quite well portioned. Eight pounds, that's good, man. You can go to a pizza shop, you're paying 10 pounds. It's a small pizza. Um, obviously, it's got, wait, what did I say? One, two, three, four. It's got six slices. For one person, that is spot on. But you know what? Let's dive into it. Wow. That's amazing. Let's get into it. That's the pizza, though. Mmm. You know what? That is really marshy. It's got like a really sweet barbecue, ta barbecue taste to it. And then you feel the cheese. You feel that mozzarella just melting in your throat. The chicken, very flavoursome, oily as well. And I love the fact that you get the pepper. The pepper taste kicks in the back of your throat, which I think is quite good. And you've got the onions which are quite tasty. Obviously onions have got a bit of kick to it, not a lot, but I love the texture it's got. It's got like a nice crunchy texture. So it balances out with a smooth chicken where it's quite tender and sweet. I just like how all the ingredients, like all the texture of the ingredients, they really balance well with the pizza. And it's not too doughy, like the ratio, is, it's your classic ratio, but it's not too much, even though it's a bit doughy, I think it works, works well together. Mm. I love it man, and the cheese, you've got the mozzarella cheese in there, spot on bruv. Mm. Now I can taste, it's got a tomato, it's got a tomato base on it, so they use the tomato sauce as the base, which I think, this time around eating it, it's quite a nice tomato basil, you can taste the basil and it's got a slight, it's like, it's got like a slight sweetness to it, which I think is quite good. I think it balances quite well. I know like the, um, the barbecue is quite sweet, but they both go together quite, quite well. Hmm. Oh, mate. That is banging. Especially fasting all day. I've not eaten all day, and I'll tell you something. Sometimes I'll eat food, yeah, and I will not eat the whole day. Seven times out of ten, if I eat the food and it's shit, my mouth won't like it. You know, normally when you don't... Have you guys ever had it with eating food before? Sorry, where you've not eaten the whole day, and you've gone to eat and your mouth is like watering, so nice and succulent. That's when you know you've had a good meal. I've had it times where I've not eaten the whole day, I've ate the meal, and it was atrocious, I didn't like it. But yeah, what do you guys think? For eight pounds, I think that's really good value. They're coming down on their prices, but it's like an eight pound special. But you can't forget the garlic dip. I like as well, the pizza's quite nice. Presentation's quite nice. Let's taste a bit of the of the pepperoni. Mm. Meaty, juicy. You get your typical pepperoni 
pork taste to it, sensational. Let's rip another sli slice up, look at that. Dip it in, or you can do this. Look at that. Dominoes. I know this is going to change the pizza around, let's see. Mmm. That garlic just takes over the whole pizza. It's like crack. You know crack when people, when people snort it and shit like that? It's like that. Creamy, herby, garlicky. As much as the barbecue is very well powered, nice and sweet, there's just something about this dip. When you put it on, the, the, pizza, just, the pizza just goes to heaven. Like, the pizza goes from here, and it's literally put the pizza from here to like here, man. It's amazing. Mmm. Oh, mate. That is banging. Oh, mate. Just love it. The flavour. The juiciness, the creaminess, the texture. It's all combining well together, man. Mmm. You know what? This is the type of dip you always need in the pizza. Like, you can have such a shit pizza, but you know what? You put this sauce on it, it's like having chicken that's not seasoned. You whack this in the chicken, it is the best plaster and healer and substitute, it works. It just works. But you know what? As much as the pizza was very good, this has really took the pizza to another level. Do you know what I mean? Oh, man. Mmm. Even the crust, it's not too puffy. It's not too dough, it's got nice, it's got like a nice colour to it, a nice crunch. Mmm. I'm really happy about that. But obviously they know how to do food videos, so they made it very good, innit? Wow. You know what? This could be my favourite pizza yet. This Korean barbecue is very good. It's quite new, underrated. I think, in my opinion, the best pizza is the Mighty Meaty and the Texas Barbecue. They're just like OG legendary. But I want to try out that Christmas one. They've got a festive pizza where you've got cranberry sauce, it's got the whole shebang. But yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably going to give this pizza a solid 8.3. It was fantastic. Pleasurable, memorable experience. And for £8, you get six slices. That's going to fill you up, mate. <clears throat> and it's a bargain. You can even get a medium. £10, so that would have been eight more slices. No, two to make eight, so that would have been eight slices. For an extra two quid, mate, you could get another two slices, but yeah. Overall, mate, that will beat your boss man pizza. But it's nice to see Domino's are pushing the prices back where the world is very bad at the minute with the um, inflation. It's good to see they're dropping their prices back and you can get good value pizza. And I've got an extra topping, so I've got on here... I've got about five or six toppings, and I think that's quite reasonable. Eight pounds. In the comments, let me know if this is good value. And um, where shall I go next, man? Honestly, where would you like me to go next for the pizza? But, yeah, man, I'm very happy. Big up to the lads up there. Very good. Nice. Proper lads. But look at that. He really did look after. Look at that, boys and girls. You know what I mean? Under boobs cooked to perfection. It's a bit saggy, but it still does the job, man. But yeah, man, all, all I need to say to you guys, I hope you have a great day. I honestly hope you've enjoyed my little video here. Um, if you guys ever want to message me, have a chat, feel free to message me. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a follow on my YouTube. We're trying to grow that. But yeah, man, this is my little Dominus Pizza review. If you enjoyed it. Just do the comments as well. And if you've got anything else to say to me, boys and girls, please make sure you go in the comments and comment where else you want me to eat. Whereabouts, London, just whatever location. Any other businesses out there that are looking for someone to review their food, shout me, man, the Portuguese. -er. 
Yeah, we don't fuck around people, we keep it real. But yeah, on this occasion, the Portuguese have got stuffed. Well, like I said, this gets an 8.3. See! Tom, I big up people. Take care, man. Portuguese is now. I'm gonna demolish this pizza, guys. Love you.